Hello everybody, you use 92 here for the Raw review for the first Raw of the new year for January 4th, 2016. Gotta get used to saying that now. Dragon Catch Heroes in the background, please enjoy. So, um, uh, for the first Raw of the year, it was, uh, it was not that bad. It kind of had a lot of, like, it had a little, like, moments, but it was not bad. So, Steph and Roman kick off Raw. You know, Steph is talking about how he's gonna get screwed, you know, Vince is gonna take care of business. Roman says he's going to put McMahon in the hospital if he tries to screw him. You know, shit like that. Then we get Neville versus Kevin Owens. And, uh, so much better than their fucking whatever happened last week with the 15 seconds and all that stuff. This was a nice, solid 10-minute match. Neville was a house of fire. Neville hit every move you could fucking think of. Really awesome match for Neville. Definitely showing a more aggressive side of Kevin Owens. Uh, Neville hits a nice shooting star press to the outside on the standing Kevin Owens. That was awesome. Ambrose on commentary. Ambrose was actually pretty good on commentary. Uh, fucking, um, so Owens is about to close it out. He puts Neville in a tree of woe. He sweeps Neville's feet. He hits the cannonball while Neville's upside down. This, you know, signals that's it. Hits the pop, pop, power bomb. Done. One, two, three. I'm glad Kevin Owens won. I'm glad Neville looked good in defeat. And that was such a sick pop-up power about me here. Like, he hit it with such aggression. Uh, Owens is about to leave. He tries to attack Neville after the match. Ambrose hits a suicide dive, tries to save Neville. Uh, Owens is about to put Ambrose to the table like he did last week. Uh, and, uh, Ambrose switches it around. Hits an elbow drop through the table. I thought the table was about to break because when he put Owens on it, it was already kind of a little busted. So I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Japanese tables. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, the shoot's going to continue. I really thought this shoot wouldn't continue that much. Um, hopefully, Owens gets his title back, man. I want Owens to have his title back. Owens was better with that title, man. Like, uh, I like Ambrose, but Ambrose is a better chaser than just being the champion. So, then we have Stardust versus Titus O'Neil. Again, I don't... Uh, I like that they're pushing Titus. Like, he's getting a weird fucking push, I don't even know. Because, I guess... You know, his tag partner's not there, but I kind of wish Stardust wasn't a fucking jobber, because, like, Stardust is so fucking awesome. I really hope they could have done something with him and, you know, Cosmic Wasteland and poor Ascension, man. Uh, Titus went to the Clash of the Titus. Not too much to say here. Just wish they could do better with both these guys, but I wish they could do more with Stardust. Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. Non-title match, so... Hopefully they do more with Becky Lynch this year, because I feel like she's been shafted a lot. Charlotte tries to cheat. Becky turns it around and actually cheats to win. She finally gets the memo. Uh, fucking... Becky wins, which I'm very happy about. This is actually a nice, like, 8-minute, 10-minute match. This is really, really good. Uh, Charlotte attacks Becky after the match and finally, finally, officially Mega turns heel. So, I was worried for a second, so I'm like, is Becky gonna turn heel too? So... Uh, I, hopefully they, this is the rivalry going in for the Royal Rumble. I want to see these two girls tear it up. Hopefully more with Becky. And, uh, good to see Charlotte is finally, like, a dedicated heel, so. Big Show versus Ryback up next. I groan. <laughs> and I l fucking love the big guy. I love Ryback. Hopefully, um, whatever plan he has. He has supposedly a nice, a strategy for WrestleMania. I, I kind of know what it is. You can kind of tell. They're, they're pro, because Vince McMahon is trying to get back Goldberg. So, you can tell the goldberg Ryback match actually might have a chance of happening, which I hope it does. Like, I know Goldberg is going to win, but whatever. But I think it'll be a good thing for Ryback. The big guy deserves better. He's a, he's pretty good in that ring. It's just the matches they give him. Like, he should be fighting people like Neville and Kalisto. Like, when he fought Kalisto that one time, that was a great match. Uh, matches of no contest. Because uh, Wyatt Family comes out. And I, was, I actually got hyped for this. And I was like, yo, Wyatt's on point. They all match it with the all black on black attire. <laughs> Fucking. So they take out Ryback. They just, they jump this man. They kill this man. Strowman then chokes out Ryback. Man, Strowman makes Ryback look like a baby. And Ryback is a big man. So then they're about to leave. And they just look at Big Show. And they probably thought, like, why the fuck are we leaving this guy alive? <laughs> Wyatt, uh, surround the ring. Old Shield style. Destroy Big Show. Why come out, kill everybody, they take out Ryback, they take out Big Show. Strowman and Big Show have their stare down, everybody pops, you know, Strowman gets the better of it, they take him down. Bra uh, Bray says he is going to win the Royal Rumble, I'm like, yeah buddy, I wish. <laughs> you and Owens, man, you and Owens are my pick. Uh, we have Alberto Del Rio versus, and Rusev, aka the League of Jobbers. 
versus the Usos. Uh, not a bad match, you know. Uh, good comebacks for everybody. Uh, the real still being used. Uh, you know, he's not really losing, so I guess. I just wish they could have done something better with Del Rio. Uh, Del Rio, there was a nice spot where Del Rio goes for his little double foot something. Uh, Uso blocks it. He gets out the way, hits a super kick, and then the other Uso is on top, and he hits a Uso splash. Rusev interrupts the pin. Del Rio picks up the win with a crazy-looking stomp where the Uso was midway. Like, he was in the middle rope, and Del Rio comes down with one foot and, like, curve stomps his ass. That was a really good uh, move right there. Oh, uh, then we have probably my favorite moment of the night. So, we get Dolph Ziggler versus Heath Slater. Heath Slater comes out with... Let me let me get this right. Bo Dallas. Bo Leave. Adam Rose. You know, I love Adam Rose. And the fucking man. The boy. My, my boy. Curtis fucking Axel. Michael McGillicuddy. If anybody doesn't know, I've probably said it a million times, I am probably the biggest Curtis Axel fan you're going to find, because I'm probably the only Curtis Axel fan. I have been on this guy's side ever since NXT. Uh, I like this guy a lot. I know he sucks at promos, but he got a lot better. It's just people didn't get to see. Like, look up his rivalry with Tyson Kidd, and you'll see how good this guy actually is. Look up his early stuff in NXT when he was going against Bo and, like, he was going against Seth Rollins. He, they, they had a title match. Curtis Axel versus Seth Rollins. That was such a good match. So, I was like, yo. So, basically, they reformed the job squad. They're called, like, uh, the, the social outcast or something. He slayed... I, I marked out. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm a big fan. And Bo, not so much. But Adam Rose and Curtis Axel in a group. I was like, yo, let's do it. I really wish Damian Sandow was in this group instead of Bo Dallas, because Damian Sandow is really, 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 really crazy talented. Uh, Bo is to an extent. I'm not a big fan of Bo Dallas. I'm, I'm just going to say it, basically. Uh, so Slater wins with a fucking roll-up, and I'm like, oh my god. So they each take a turn cutting a promo when the thing is over. Curtis Axel, you know, he was lost, but now he's found. He has friends. The chains are off, man. The chains are off. So, as you can tell... I am pretty fucking happy about this. <laughs> please, please WWE, give me more Curtis Axel in 2016. This guy is super talented, man. And Adam Rose, like, give me Leo Kruger, though. So, New Day comes out for a promo. So that's how they were the best thing last year and all that stuff. They started countdown saying how this is a new day, new year. And Chris fucking Jericho comes out. Uh, that was awesome. Good to see Y2J here. I don't know what he's going to do. And I do like that he announced he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. Because I w wasn't sure he was going to be. Maybe they can settle that Y2J Dean Ambrose feud finally. Uh, Y2J actually used a bit of his debut promo back from 1999. Which is really awesome. Uh, Rudy Tootie Booty was, was the theme. I was like, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Jericho says he's in the Rumble, of course, and uh, he he calls the New Day Track Queen, which I'm like, Jericho, do you even know what that means? <laughs> so that was kind of funny. And then we get the New Day versus Kalisto and Team 3D. Uh, also, Brock Lesnar returns next week, so that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, they set up Brock's next opponent for WrestleMania. Fucking, I, I really hope they go with that Brock Lesnar and Bray, Ray Wyatt match or something like that. They, they need something big, man. I don't know if they're going to go with Babyface Brock or Heel Brock. Or either way, you can't go wrong. Brock Lesnar is, you know, money. Uh, Bubba and Kalisto were doing really cool teamwork in this match. I feel like they were doing a lot of the old, like, Spike Dudley spots, which is really cool. Uh, New Day wins with their Midnight Hour move. Uh, good match. Uh, good to see uh, Kalisto. Sniakara is injured now, so we're definitely going to see that Kalisto singles push, hopefully, for a little bit. <sighs> then comes the main evento. Main event time, it is WWE title, Roman Reigns versus Sheamus. Vince is the referee. Uh, Vince is quick counting and slow counting and not even counting Roman the whole fucking match. He's quick counting Roman the whole time when he's getting pinned. Roman has enough. Roman says, watch this, old man. Goes for the Superman punch on Sheamus, switches it around, Superman punches Vince. Steph comes out to go save her dad. And fucking, uh... He, uh, Roman throws Vince into Steph, and Steph actually hits the ring, and she goes in the ring, and I'm like, oh, man, Triple H is gonna fucking kill you, brother. Like, there, you can tell this Triple H-Roman Reigns match is totally happy now. Like, he basically put his hands on Steph. 
You touch Steph, you die. That is the rule of Triple H, which I love, so. Yeah, so, Roman tries to spear Vince. Sheamus comes in with a sick-looking side bro kick. He bro kicks him again. The evil ref, Scott Armstrong, comes out. The crooked referee comes out. I love this guy's gimmick. I think it's funny. He tries to quick count Roman. Roman fucking no-sells that shit. Kicks out at two, and I was like... Roman is probably the only person that can make the bro kick look like nothing. Fucking Sheamus tells to get Roman up. The ref starts getting Roman up. And I'm like, yo, this screw job is serious business right here. Fucking Sheamus is about to go for the bro kick. Roman, uh, fucking Roman gets out of it. Superman punches the ref. Superman punches Sheamus. Then does a sick spear to Sheamus. Fucking, I was like, oh my gosh. Then a good referee comes out. Counts it down. Roman Reigns wins. Vince beats up the good referee. Vince says Rome, and then comes the big announcement that Vince says Roman is defending the fucking WWE title in the World Rumble. If I'm correct, it is something that hasn't been done since the 1992 Rumble. Probably one of the best Rumble matches ever, if not one of these, you know, not in the top five. I was like, oh my god, so this is the scenario. That was raw. Uh, again, it was okay, you know. The job squad made me hype. Jericho returning, that was really cool. Owens and Neville stealing the fucking show in an amazing match. Charlotte heel turn finally went down. So, my my grievance right now. So, Roman Reigns is defending the title in the Royal Rumble. So basically, as you see, the goal is get Roman Reigns over. And, you know, I thought they did that. I thought they did it right. So... Freaking, I don't know what they're going to do. Because they're basically in a place where Roman can't lose. Because, like, he can't. Like, Roman can't lose. Because if he loses, then all of it was for nothing. So I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do. But if you have Roman ram through everybody and win the Rumble, what do you do? So... I am hoping at least Triple H is in the Rumble. Because they need to settle this Roman Reigns Triple H thing, so. I definitely see that Triple H is going to have to be in the Rumble. It, it, it's the only thing that's going to make sense. And you're going to have, like, you know, shit go down. Or unless they do, you know, the obvious. And they have Big Match John and Roman in the end. And, you know, Ro he, John passes the torch in the Rumble, like. They can do... It, it's a lot of things that could really happen. I just hope they don't fuck this up. Because, you know, yeah, they're making Roman look good and people are behind him, but don't make him look crazy strong where he can't have a challenge. Like, what do you do when Roman goes in there and destroys everyone in the Rumble? Who the fuck does he fight at WrestleMania? Who? 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 But, like, if they take the title away from him, what are you going to do? Like... They put themselves in a weird situation. I don't think that was necessary at all. You could have just had a regular Rumble match. And that would also be kind of crazy too. Like you're going to have... Like if Roman wins, he runs... He won two straight Rumbles in a row already in his fucking... He's like 29, so... There's a lot of shit. Like I feel like they're kind of fucking up, so... But uh, I guess more hype for the Royal Rumble, man... I, I, I have a lot of predictions for the Royal Rumble. I really, really, really fucking hope Daniel Bryan comes back. Because imagine, like, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, hopefully, in the Rumble. Like, imagine all those people, Roman Reigns, in the Rumble, man. That would be pretty sick. Maybe I could get my Brock Lesnar Bray Wyatt or Brock Lesnar, um... Fucking, uh, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, stare down, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace out. Like, subscribe, and... A spot of sparring, eh? I'd be happy to. Once things calm down a bit, of course. You asked for it. Lightning storm! No, Miss Jessica, please, th this is too much. You will only to encourage Sarevna's recklessness. Nearly there.
everyone. Keep up the good work. So long, pal. Are we done already? So long, pal. You asked for it. Lightning storm. Huh. <laughs> That was nothing.